Tao overflows religiousness beyond conditioning. Ever since consciousness dawned, awareness became the way of life. My constant effort day and night is how to set the process of transformation in an individual, finding new ways and means, exploring new techniques, and how this process could be accentuated has been my way of life. Religiousness exists beyond all conditionings, social, family and others. Religion is a conscious choice. How can I make this way of your life? The whole world is irreligious because religion is foolishly associated with birth. There is no relationship at all between religion and birth. You have to choose consciously and for this first you have to understand your type and then you have to choose. The world will be deeply religious the day we allow everyone to choose his religion, method, technique or path. Then we can create more awakened ones. But religion has become organizational. That is why the moment a child is born, we force religion upon him. Everyone starts conditioning him into a particular way of religion. The parents are afraid that he may move into another organization. Before he becomes conscious, he must be destroyed, crippled and forced. Before he becomes conscious and can think about things, his mind must be conditioned so that he cannot think freely. You cannot think freely because whatsoever you think has been preconditioned. Burton Russell seems in conflict. He says intellectually, I conceive of Buddha as being greater than Jesus, but deep down in my heart that is impossible. Jesus is greater than Buddha. At the most, if I force myself, then I will put them parallel, equal, intellectually. I feel Buddha is a giant. Jesus is nothing before him. This is the statement of Burton Russell, one of the finest minds in the world and his state of confusion because of this conditioning. Why is this feeling in Burton Russell? Because Burton Russell is himself the intellectual type. So Buddha has an appeal for him. Jesus has no appeal. But the mind has been conditioned into Christianity. This is not truth because these comparisons are meaningless. They simply show something about Burton Russell, neither about Buddha nor about Jesus, because no comparison is possible. For someone who is of the feeling type, Jesus will look greater than Buddha. But if he is a Buddhist, if he is born a Buddhist, he will be in difficulty. His own mind will feel uneasy if he thinks that someone is greater than Buddha. It is difficult, impossible in a way, because whatsoever you think has been fed into you. It has already been fed into you 
it is part of your conditioning and you have to operate within that condition. Your mind is something like a computer. The information has been fed in, evaluation has been fed in, you are already based on some nonsensical concept and traditions. You cannot throw them easily. That is why religion is just a word. Very few people can become religious really because very few people can rebel against their own conditioning. Only a revolutionary mind can become religious. A mind which can see a thing, the fact of it, and, the, and then decide what to do. But feel your type first. Try to feel your type. It is not difficult. The first thing if you feel confused, you are of intellectual type. If you feel certain trusting, then proceed with the different techniques which require test as the basic thing or the beginning. And secondly, remember never do both the techniques. That will create more confusions in you. But this is what everyone is doing. Ram Krishna is right, Buddha is right as well. Remember one thing, in this world many things can lead you to truth, many paths. There is no monopoly of any kind. Even contradictory paths, absolutely contradictory paths, can also lead you to the same point. There is never one path alone. On the contrary, if you go deep and realize, you will come to know that there are as many paths as there are travelers because each individual has to proceed from the point where he is standing already. He cannot use a ready-made path as he walks. The path is created for him. Basically, you create your path as you move forward. The moment you take the first step forward, your path is there in front of you. But every religion tries to force on you this idea that path is already and fixed for you and you have to travel along that path. That is wrong. This inner search is more like the sky than the earth. A bird is flying and he will leave no footprints in the sky. The sky will always remain a vacuum clear. The bird has flown. It has not left any footprints. No bird follows the footprints of the other. No bird follows, ever follows the footprint of the other bird that has flown in the sky. But man follows the path of others. The sky is always empty. Another bird, any bird who has to fly will create his own path. Consciousness is like a sky, not like the earth. A Mahabir moves, a Buddha moves, a Mira moves, a Muhammad moves, a Jesus moves. You can see their movements, you can see their achievements, but the moment they move, the path disappears. You cannot follow 
dead like you cannot imitate you have to find your own path if you have to attain first thing is to think about your type and then choose the method in these 112 techniques explained by Shiva to his concert Devi in Vikyan Bhairav Tantra many are for intellectual type many are for emotional type but do not think that because you are of a mixed type you have to follow the booth that will create more confusion and you will be divided so deeply that you may even go mad schizophrenic you may become split do not do that that is why when you come to a master he gives you a technique that is tailor made for you and that technique will help you to move forward but you remember there are on the highways there are side roads and so these also you have to follow in order to avoid the traffic and other things so a certain technique is given to you for a certain period of time then it is changed depending on your growth pattern enough for now